What's up everybody? So, you know, one of the things I love about my pro anglers, getting out there and, you know, exploring new places, fishing, and I could store it right there in the corner of my garage, and it's great, it's a great thing to have. But one of the things I didn't like about it is that I really can't take my kids with me. I go out for hours on end and they're at home, not with me. So I tried with my son in the back and honestly, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the Tommy Bahama chair. He was so close to me. Uh, it was uncomfortable. It's not really designed for two people, although a lot of people do. I personally just didn't like it. So I did a thing. I got a Hobie Oasis. It is their middle of the road tandem. Uh, I got it in slate blue. I just got home. I've got to tr figure out how I'm going to modify my cart. It should be pretty easy. I'm just going to have to cut some wood and um, take off the front supports, but uh, I'm going to do a walkthrough in just a minute here and uh, I'll show you around. So I got the kayak off of the truck. Uh, it's in the garage because there was thunder. I didn't know if it was gonna rain. So it's in here where the light is terrible versus out there where it's much better. But I'll quickly go through this one and kind of some of the differences and the reasons why I bought this one versus the Compass Duo, which is the one I had originally thought I wanted. Uh, so let's take a look. So in the front of this one versus the Compass Duo, there is a hatch, a dedicated hatch. You can store stuff. There's no bin because it is kind of small, but that kind of enables you to store more in there, in my opinion. So it's actually, it's a pretty decent size. You could definitely store a smaller cooler in there. And um, I'm gonna need to for when I take my daughter because she's not very heavy. Uh, when we were demoing it, the, sh the guy said that about two feet of the bow was out of the water when she was in there because she's only like 50, 60 pounds. Another reason why I bought this one over the Duo was because of the drive. Now this one, the Duo has kick-up fins but no reverse. These have reverse and I get, you know, you get two drives because it's a tandem and I'm gonna upgrade one to the turbo fins so that I could use it on my Pro Angler 14. Um, the kick up fins are really nice because if they're not able to get the drive up in time or they don't know if they're gonna hit something, the fins are just gonna kick up. You're not gonna be bending masts as easily as you are with the regular uh, fins. So, uh, those, that's a nice nice drive. Now I have three drives, which is awesome. There's an eight inch twist and stow hatch here. It's pretty big. Um, I'm gonna get a bucket for this, a deep bucket just to store some stuff in there. And uh, I was watching somebody else's review and you can't put the rectangular hatch like you would on the compass, but that's okay. Beggars can't be choosers. The seat, way better seat on this one. My wife has some back problems. Uh, this, she, we demoed it, all three of them, with me in the back. Everybody thought it was comfortable. My daughter reached the pedals, uh, so it was awesome. You get steering up here in the front, whereas the Compass Duo, you only get steering in the back. This one comes with two paddles, so that's nice. The Compass Duo only comes with one paddle. Uh, the back is more of the same except you have the rudder controls. Actually, you got rudder controls up in the front and the back. Um, you got nice deep storage bins um, just to store some stuff and they're rubber now versus whatever material they used to be. Um, but you can store snacks and, and whatnot in there, maybe a bottle of water. The cup holders are better and you get two of them. Uh, another, this one has the storage bin in it the one that it comes with, and it's just a little organizer, but I'd rather get one that's a little bit deeper and maybe just a solo uh, a solo bucket, no dividers, just, just to store some, some stuff. Uh, again, the seat is the same, folds pretty flat, and then you can also 
get it a little bit higher if you want. In the back, you get two rod holders versus the compass, which comes with four. Uh, that's a little bit of a downside. And then the compass has gear tracks, which this doesn't. Man, if the Compass Duo and the Oasis had a baby, it would be like the perfect fishing tandem that's manageable. I would have loved to have gotten a uh, PA-17, but it's just too big, I can't store it. Uh, another hatch back here, which would probably be a, a bucket. Um, I don't think I wanna do, uh, I'm not gonna do too many electronics on here, so um, I probably won't have to worry about a battery setup, but I wouldn't put it back here, I'd probably put it up here just to help with the weight, keep the weight forward some, or maybe even in the front hatch. Um, this has a twist and stow rudder, and this will be my first one with this. Might upgrade to the larger rudder, I'm not sure. One thing that's kind of annoying is the handle is underneath the rudder when the rudder's up, so that's, I'll have to figure that out. But uh, super excited. Um, I've been wanting a tandem for a while. A couple, so you may ask why I don't just put them in this. I tried putting my son in the back of this once. I just honestly, I did not like it. It was not for me. Other people do it with no problem. That's great. Um, it's just not for me. I tried it. My daughter's been bugging me ever since to go and um, I kind of just had to tell her no. But um, she's gonna go first in the Oasis and I am super excited. And uh, just to get out and explore some of the beaches that you can't get to without a vessel, um, it's gonna be awesome. Now, I cleared off the bottom of the cart. This one is 36 inches wide or 34 inches wide. That cart is 36 inches wide, the whole thing. So I'm going to have to, I don't have to mess with the back supports, but I am going to have to mess with the front. I'm going to have to take out this post and this post. Um, I'm probably going to put a piece on the outside and I don't know. It should. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to have to rebuild the cart um, a couple of inches bigger. I will uh, I'll get back when I redo the cart. I got the whole thing carpeted now. I probably should have checked to see if it fit before I put the carpet down, um, whatever. I think it's gonna fit. Uh, once I know that it can clear these, I'm gonna wrap these in carpet also, just so that it doesn't get scratched. I didn't put any staples up here, just on the face and along the sides. Um, Looks really nice, except for that one spot. You can see the carpet fell off. Uh, I'll just have to restaple it. But nice uh, surface to glide on, and we'll see if it fits. It's the moment of truth. it this far I had to take the seats off not bad not bad so it fits ish um, I built this cart a year ago with no intention of putting another kayak on it. I uh, built it so that I could fit my fishing stuff underneath and have everything in one spot. Uh, it fits width-wise. 
but it doesn't fit height wise. The seats hit the crossbar. I could maybe notch them out a little bit, uh, but I don't. I probably could because the weight is on the top. Well, I would only need to notch out the front one. Maybe I'll try notching it out first so that the seats... No, because then I've got these supports that would hit also. So I'll probably wind up redoing the whole cart, building a new one. Um, I've got the wheels. I'll just have to get some new carpet if I don't want to be so OCD. Uh, or And then I'll need probably eight 2x4s, so it'll... You know, it'll probably cost 60 bucks to build a new cart because I have the PVC. Uh, so, uh, I'm excited about the kayak. The next video will have a walkthrough in it and uh, my plans. And I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm sweaty. So, uh, I'm going to get this inside pull the wife's car in and uh, call a night. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll do a walkthrough on this guy coming up.